If you're an athlete that struggles to eat, this is the video for you. What's going on guys? Coach DT with Dynamic Training. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about food. All right, we're not gonna talk about so much how much you should be eating, more of what should you be eating and what are some great options that you can have throughout your day at school. So, the number one thing to know, to think about as athletes, food is fuel. If we are not eating, we are not fueling our bodies. And as athletes, we need to perform, right? That's what we are asked to do is perform. To perform mentally, to be sharp, to be quick, to know and to make good decisions. And then physically to be quick, to be fast, to be reactive and to be explosive in whatever sport that we're playing. So the best analogy I like to give my athletes is the better the athlete, right? The fancier the sports car, the better gas that you need, the better fuel, the better food that you need to put in your body. If you have some sweet, exotic uh, supercar, you're not gonna go put basic gas in it. You're not gonna go put fast food in that car and expect for it to perform properly, right? So the nicer the car, you gotta put the premium gas. You gotta spend the extra money to invest the extra high quality gas to allow that vehicle to perform. And as athletes, we have to perform. All right, so I'm gonna start here. Like I was talking about earlier in the intro of this video, where can you put the majority of your food and how can you eat throughout your day, okay? So there's two areas that you are gonna eat the bulk of your food if you're an athlete that's currently in school. Number one, breakfast, all right? You need to eat a big breakfast because it's one of the first opportunities for your body to get food and to fuel yourself for your day. Secondly, it's one of those options that you can actually sit down and eat. You don't have a teacher telling you you can't eat. Okay, you don't have a five minute time crunch to eat between passing periods. You have to maximize the opportunities and the meals that you have at home. The second big meal is gonna be your dinner. When you get home, when you're done with school, when you're done with practice, and then now it's time to settle down and relax. You've got to make sure that you eat big, okay? I know a lot of us, we get home, we're like, oh, it's late, we, don't, we, we shouldn't eat too much. No, you need to eat a big breakfast, you need to have a good dinner because throughout your day, more than likely, you're not eating a lot, food is fuel. This spot right here is a big one. This is something I really wanna talk about and it's snacks and snack options for our athletes that are going throughout the day, right? Those small breaks, lunches at school, uh, passing periods, maybe a teacher lets you actually eat in class, some of them do. So what can you eat that's gonna be good for you, that's gonna fuel your body throughout your day at school? So I wrote down a couple of snacks, right? A couple of options. These are things that helped me get through when I was playing college football. I was balling on a budget, didn't have a ton of money, so these are not super expensive snacks, okay? But these are things that helped get me through. Number one is trail mix, okay? Eating nuts, eating something that's chocolatey, that's got a little bit of sugar, that's gonna perk you up, keep you attentive, but also give you some good fats, some good protein, and have some salt on it. I love it, okay? But what I don't love is store-bought trail mix, because I don't like raisins. I'm not a huge M&M guy. So for me, I used to run over to where you can buy things in bulk. You can go to like Winco, you can go to certain Sprouts, and certain grocery stores where you can pick the different types of nuts you want. So I always went like cashews, I would do chocolate covered almonds, I would do banana chips, I would do um, walnuts. So for me, being able to create my own trail mix that I knew I loved and I could easily have it in my pocket, I could easily have it in my lunch bag and take it with me everywhere. That was one of my favorite snacks. Second snack, easy. I think a lot of us know that we can eat fruit. Okay, so that's a pretty easy one. Grab yourself a banana, take it in your backpack with you, it's easy. Grab yourself an apple, slice it up before you go if you don't like to eat an apple in front of people, okay? But fruit is a great snack that's gonna give you some sugar, give you some carbs, and give you some energy throughout your day. Number three, the basic, the most easy, the PB&J, okay? Throw a little peanut butter, throw a little jelly, it doesn't matter if it's hot, right? It doesn't matter if the day is cold. A PB&J is gonna be something that you can always keep on you. That's gonna give you carbs, fats, protein. That's an easy snack that you can eat quickly throughout a passing period. Next one, we got protein bars, or as a lot of our dynamic training coaches love, our protein Pop-Tarts. Shout out to Tasty Pastry. One day we'll be sponsored, you wait and watch, okay? Uh, we love protein bars, we love protein Pop-Tarts, we love a lot of little protein snacks. Uh, beef jerky, you can kind of put into that same category, something that's easy to chew on, that's got some good protein. Um, and then you got chocolate milk, you can, there's a lot of options for chocolate milk, so I won't go too deep into that. We do like Fairlife because there's a ton of protein in them. 
Um, and then lastly, the cheat code dog. Cheat code is a Greek yogurt. You can eat Greek yogurt whenever, but the best thing is you can literally rip open a container, eat it in three seconds, or you can bougie it up, like I like to say, where you can throw granola on top, you can cut up some fruit, you can sprinkle, put a little honey on it, you can drizzle things on it to make it super good and delicious. So if you got time at home, bougie that thing up and enjoy yourself a little parfait. If you're on the go, rip open that lid, eat it, it's quick, it's got some protein in it, it'll be good for you. There are snacks that you can eat throughout the day, but here are some options if you didn't know where to go. Before I get to the do not focus on, I wanna harp on the last two things, breakfast and dinner, okay? Breakfast, biggest, biggest excuse I get is that, coach, I don't have time to eat breakfast. Well, you gotta make time. I understand that you're tired. I understand you don't wanna wake up. It's easier to just wake up and mindlessly eat cereal, but that doesn't do much for you, okay? Don't try your best not to wake up and just eat a ton of sugar right in your day. You need to have some protein, you need to have some carbs, you need to have some fats, because that's gonna get your mind fired up and ready to go throughout the day, and it's gonna give you energy and fuel to last you throughout that first period and until you get to that first snack break. So, options. I love eggs. I'm a big eggs guy. Eggs are super easy to make, super quick. Don't be afraid to have potatoes. Don't be afraid to have some meat with it, right? Whatever your meat of choice is. Uh, but eggs are not bad for you. Eggs are a great source of protein and it's something that I eat almost every morning. Number two, this is a great easy one, is a smoothie. I put plus protein because why not? As athletes, we need to be focusing on our protein intake. There's two types of smoothies that I like to make. One, literally almond milk, ice, vanilla protein of your choice, uh, and then I'll throw frozen fruit in it. Super easy, tastes delicious. I love fruit, I get my protein in, tastes like a Jamba Juice. You can make it early in the morning in under five minutes, so that's a great one. The second smoothie that I love, I actually eat typically more late at night when I'm feeling lazy, but almond milk, ice, chocolate protein, banana, peanut butter, or if you want to have some PB Fit, if you guys like that in your life, you can do that as well. But that is delicious, has that Reese's kind of taste to a chocolate, peanut butter, banana, it tastes good, make it under five minutes, it's got your protein, smoothies are a cheat code. Last but not least, I've got the Greek yogurt like we talked about, I already mentioned that, and then our breakfast sandwiches that are just helpful. You got your egg, you got your meat, you got a carb like an English muffin or whatever is holding your sandwich together. Okay, but at the end of the day, breakfast for athletes, there's a reason people say it's the most important meal of the day, and that big reason is it's just your first meal of the day, and if you skip out on that, you're setting yourself back, and now you're having to play catch up, and the first thing you're eating is some snack between a passing period. Start your day off right with some good fuel. Dinner. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. There's three things you need to have in your dinner. A protein. Pick your source. Make sure you have some protein. A carb. Make sure you have some carbs. And a veggie. All right. Protein, carb, and veggie. It's the easiest way to know that you're eating a complete dinner and getting all the nutrients and fuel that you need in your body. Okay. We don't need to get crazy picky. As athletes, we don't need to eat chicken and rice every single day. Just make sure that you are getting in a good strong protein, you're getting in some carbs, and you're getting in some veggies. Do not skip on breakfast, do not skip on dinner. Those are huge for us as athletes. And last but not least, I've got the things I want you to not focus on. Okay, do not focus on. Number one, Carbs and fats. As athletes stop taking advice from bodybuilders online, we are not scared of carbs, we are not scared of fats. They are not bad for you. Carbs are going to fuel you and to give you energy before your practice, before your game. When you need to get picked up and you need to elevate your levels, you need to eat carbohydrates. It is the number one fuel for high intensity training as athletes. Number two, your fats. Fats are gonna help with cognitive function. If you feel like you're feeling dizzy or, or blurry or foggy in your head to where you're just like, oh, I'm not in this state. You're probably low on something and it could be fats. Do not stay away from carbs. Do not stay away from fats if you are an athlete that's trying to perform at a high level. Number two, do not focus on avoiding salt. Another thing that's going on, social media, Instagram, TikTok, bodybuilders are like, stay away from salt. It's gonna bloat you. It doesn't matter as an athlete, when you sweat, you're not sweating out water. 
You're sweating out sodium, you're sweating out salt, you're sweating out all these different vitamins, minerals, and things that your body needs. So we need to replenish those things, okay? You need more than just salt, right? You need to make sure you have your electrolytes, your magnesium, you know, but this is kind of a big thing I've seen a lot of people, they're trying to stay away from carbs. Oh, should I not eat that coach? There's a lot of carbs in that. Bruh, eat the dang carbs, okay? Have some salt, replenish your body and fuel yourself so that you can then perform at the highest level. If you haven't noticed, this is kind of like pet peeve time for Coach GT, okay? Things that I hate hearing athletes talk about. Do not focus on eating late, or I should say not eating late, okay? A lot of people are like, Coach, uh, I, I had a big day, I know I'm short on my calories, I haven't eaten enough, I haven't had enough protein, but it's, uh, it's eight o'clock. You're just gonna go to bed, I guess. It's bad to eat late. No, it's not. It doesn't matter what time you eat late. You need to fuel your body, okay? If you haven't eaten enough throughout the day and you're done and you're starving and it's nine o'clock at night, don't you dare hold yourself back. You need to go eat. And what should you eat? A protein, a carb, and a veggie, okay? Get yourself something. And like I mentioned before, if you're craving something sweet and you want something bad for you, I'm not saying you can't ever have sweets, but what I do when I'm craving something bad, but I know I still need to get my protein and my calories in, I go back over here to my smoothie plus protein, okay? I go for my chocolate late at night when I've got the cravings, I go for my chocolate banana and peanut butter smoothies, okay? So, as athletes, please do not put tons of weight and focus on not eating carbs. Please don't try to avoid fats. Don't try to avoid salt. Don't avoid eating late. You need to eat. You need to eat. You need to eat. You need to eat. I don't care what time it is. You need to eat. Last thing, do not focus on bodybuilding. You are not a bodybuilder. You are an athlete. Okay, I get it. Ladies, you want to look good. Fellas, you want to be swole and big. That's awesome. We can do that with our activity level, with how hard we train and practice, with how good we eat. We can look the part. We will look the part, okay? As long as we're handling business with our food, as long as we're handling business in our training. But what you don't want to do is put all your focus and have all your food geared towards aesthetics and looking lean and looking dry and looking cut. Because at the end of the day, bodybuilders don't have to go and run for an hour and a half practice and sprint. Bodybuilders don't have to perform the same way that athletes have to perform. So you need to make sure that you're eating as a high performing athlete. Running us all the way back to one of the first things I said in this video is you are a sports car. You are a high performance vehicle that needs to perform fast, that needs to perform quickly, and needs to make decisions, right? Decisions quickly and decisions properly. So. Don't train like a bodybuilder, train like an athlete. I hope this video helped you out today. Now go get something to eat.